Hi guys, welcome to the fifth video of this series where we are talking about uh, how we can do the data analysis within Pandas and we have started with importing the different types of files and uh, now we are taking here the second step where we will look at uh, some of the basics of data series about uh, or some of the basics of data analysis to be precise where we are first looking at series and uh, here we will look at uh, some first of all uh, fabricated series and then we will look at the actual data frame and uh, from where how we can get the series to do the data manipulation or specific or access the specific type of objects for any data analysis work so for that first of all uh, we need to import pandas as pd like as always we have done in the past four videos and uh, from pandas we need to import the uh, series as well to work in this video all right let's go ahead and execute this so series is nothing but uh, a collection of uh, similar values like this or there may be a scenario where uh, it may have the mix collection as well but generally you will find that uh, it it will have the similar values like this here in this case numeric and down there uh, okay this is index but it can also have the text values all right let's go ahead and execute this and uh, let's see the series so that's how uh, the series can be uh, seen as an output and uh, with the series it has uh, this uh, numbering attached to it and what it is is nothing but the index which is created by default so index is also very useful i will cover this piece in a separate uh, video but uh, idea is that each value in a series is attached to an index so that uh, you can either access the index and get the value or you can get the directly access the value if you want to see the index values of any series you can use this uh, method which is index ser dot index so ser is nothing but the series so let's go ahead and execute this so it is as it is saying it is starting at zero stopping at six and step is one so zero to five is basically the six values that it has and that's what it is showing it over here all right let's go ahead and uh, try to access the values with the help of index so now uh, that's like the operation you would normally do in any data analysis work about accessing any series value or accessing any data frame value to basically look at a certain data point all right uh, go ahead and uh, execute this piece so ser0 is nothing but it contains the value 5 and that's what the output is similarly ser3 is having the 20 as an output so that's basically an example of example of uh, how you can access the index and get the output as the value that it contains all right uh, apart from this default index here what i have done is by using the index parameter of this uh, series function i have created a different index which is nothing but the name of the characters so just to give you an example that apart from the default one you can also have this particular piece uh, where you can specify your own custom values for index all right let's go ahead and execute this and now see this thing in action here we have the index earlier it was numeric because we did not specify anything but here we specifically mentioned that this is the index we want and now if we want like this we can access the values by a b c d and e this is uh, uh, really helpful where uh, your index is having any business specific names which you would really like to give to your values while accessing it all right so let's go ahead and see one example of what uh, you will get as a d over here which i have just mentioned to access the value data point and as you would have predicted it correctly it is giving you the output 20 over here 
next thing i want to show you is a series from our data frame so in the previous video one of the previous videos uh, we have seen how you can get the excel file into the python for data analysis so let's go ahead and execute this piece and uh, showing its first five observation with the help of the head command and here are these observations and we'll try to get the series from it by accessing a specific column all right so series from a data frame and here is the order priority let's say that's the series i want to get it out so order priority is nothing but this column and low high high all of these different values that it contains so if i go ahead and execute this here are the, here is the series that it has created zero one so it, these this is the index and this is the values okay next piece i have for you is uh, which is another way of accessing this uh, data series by using the dot notation here i'm using orders dot profit but if you have seen the previous command i have used the brackets why i have used brackets here because this column name has a space between the two words that's the reason so that's another way by which you can access it so if i go ahead and execute this it will show you the series all right if i go down and show you the next command here uh, what i'm doing is adding the two numeric series so orders dot profit and order dot sales so let's see what will happen it will give you the addition based on the values that is contained in orders and sales that's why you can perform the arithmetic operations also on two different series another way uh, by which you can do the addition on the text data is uh, by giving their name and specifying the space using the plus sign and saying that you want to concatenate these two string or add these two string if i go ahead and execute this you can see low regular low is basically the order priority and regular air is basically the shipping mode similarly high delivery truck high regular air so if you want to concatenate two different strings that's another way uh, that's the way by which you can do it now let's see some other examples that i have it here for you if you want how many values a series contains so here we are accessing order dot sales which is a series and uh, we are using the property called size to get size of this series if i go ahead and execute this it contains 8399 values all right if you want to get the array like output for further processing of data let's say by using the numpy array and all of those uh, uh, some machine learning stuff we can use the values property from order dot sales to get the array like output so if i go ahead and execute this you will get an array which you can further use it and once you will uh, you know further advance your learning into the machine learning and all you will see that this this particular property is really helpful to get the data in array output kind of a format so that's pretty much all i have for you in this video and i will meet you in the new video the new topic